in the walmart if you are also practicing for walmart uh, so generally you would be seeing two dsa round right and the questions level which you can expect is so if you search online and people sharing their experience so you will see this is the recent questions they have asked so given a binary array nums right and they have given like one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero and k equals to two right so what they are asking is that return the maximum number of consecutive one in the array if you can flip at most k zeros means k is two so right means we can flip two zeros to one any two zeros let's say if i flip this two zero to one so what are the maximum consecutive one would be so one two and here one two three four five six so maximum uh, consecutive i would get six but there is also a way that i can i can flip this to let's say if i uh, flip this two numbers this this zero and this zero so one two three four five is there any way other so this zero this zero so one two three four five six okay yeah so this zero this two zero also i can flip i can get but i can get maximum six consecutive one so right so this is the question which they have uh, asked right and another questions which they have asked is like you we are given an input nums equals to let's say one two three one and k equals to three right return true if there are two distant indices so this is in indices or you can say the index right so there are two different index i and j let's say this is i this is j in the array such that nums of i is equals to nums of j and absolute of i minus j is less than equals to k so what it is saying is that in this num array if you are finding any two numbers which are equal of different indexes and their absolute differences should be less than equals to k so here index is 0 1 2 3 so 1 is nums of i is equals to equals to nums of j means they are duplicate and their i is 0 minus j is 0 1 2 3 3 absolute so it's 3 3 is your less than equals to k k is given 3 right so this should return true so this is the question which is uh, also been asked and we have already practiced this question in this uh, channel so in the description section i will give you the video link and if you remember or if you have already seen that video you remember that uh, i have solved this using hash map right and the hash map i have kept so one index is zero then let's say two index is one then we have become three index is two and now here one again come and now index is coming as three so previous index was 0 now it's coming as 3 so 3 minus 0 absolute so it's less than equals to k we will return true right so there are different scenarios different use cases which we have to handle in which uh, i have taken a complete detail but just to glance that this question we have already solved but i need to practice this question this is the next question which i am going to practice yeah thank you bye